And one of those manifestations that I wrote down, I did it while I was imprisoned. And I wrote this down to make a certain amount of money my first year being released from prison. And I actually exceeded that amount that I wrote down creating a business. And I didn't even know how that was going to happen. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to nevelize your manifestations. And when I say nevelize, I mean the Neville Goddard way. This is a scripting technique that I like to call nevelizing your manifestations. And when I say scripting, I mean you're going to write down exactly how you would feel had you already received your desire or your manifestation? Because as we know, feeling is the secret. So if you feel something to be real in your imagination, those are gonna create feeling states that are gonna raise your frequencies, raise your vibrations, and transfer you to the world where you now have your desires. And with this technique, you only have to do it one time per manifestation. So don't mix your manifestations. Do this one time per manifestation. And this technique works so well that I did this five times and four out of the five times it came true. And I even exceeded what I wrote down, nevelizing my manifestations. And one of those manifestations that I wrote down, I did it while I was imprisoned. And I wrote this down to make a certain amount of money my first year being released from prison. And I actually exceeded that amount that I wrote down creating a business. And I didn't even know how that was going to happen. I had no idea exactly what I was going to do, but I wrote it down and I just let go and I allowed it to come to me and just allow the doors to open and just walk through them. And that's exactly what happened. And I almost doubled what I wrote down on the piece of paper when I nevelized my manifestation. The only mistake I made with nevelizing my manifestations was I limited myself too much. Even though I exceeded that amount, I should have, I should have reached higher. So now I use this and I don't have any limitations to what I can create because I've actually experienced this to work so well. So if you're trying to create $200,000, you're trying to create $200,000, make it $600,000 because you can do this. You can create, there's no limitations. There's no limitations on what you can create. So if it's uh, say a half a million dollars that you want to make, make it a million. If it's 50,000, make it a hundred thousand. If it's 10 million, make it 20, double it. You can do this and there's nothing impossible to you. There's nothing that can slow you down except your own limitations of yourself, your own beliefs in yourself. So release those beliefs as you're writing this, as you're nevelizing your manifestations, release everything, release your past, release the future that you thought you may have release everything and you are a brand new person to the world and you are an unlimited being and when you do this create that feeling state before you write down just release all your limitations all your beliefs erase it all have a have a clean slate and have a complete reset before you write this down and allow the subconscious mind and the universe to bring these things to you because i've experienced this to work all right so now it is your turn it is your time to manifest anything you want to come into your world. So this is the application. The first thing that I want you to do is get a pen and a piece of paper when you're planning on doing this. And I don't want you to write it down on your phone. I don't want you to type it. I want you to really become personal and emotional about what you're writing. So I find that when you're writing yourself on a piece of paper or a scratch card or whatever it is, you're writing it down with a pen or a pencil as you are writing. So the next thing I want you to do is I want you to determine what you want to do, be, or have. So I really want you to contemplate this. I want you to contemplate this and really become emotional and find out exactly what you want. And if the first thing that comes into your mind is five or $10,000, triple that, quadruple that. If you want to make $100,000 in sales, Make it 200,000, make it a half a million, make it a full million. I want you to take this to the extreme. I want you to really get into this fun and emotional state while you're writing this out, that you're a completely different person. There is nothing that is limiting you besides what you feel that is true of your world. So erase all that clean slate and write down exactly what you wanna do, be, or have and make it one thing, okay? This has to be one thing at a time, but you can use it as many times as you want. And you don't have to do this more than once. It's one time per application. 
Okay, so now you've determined what you want to do, be, or have. So you've written down, for example, you've written down now, I want to make $1 million in sales next year. Okay, so you've written this down. This is your goal. This is what you want to make next year. So right below that, I want you to write down exactly, specifically, how you would feel if you already achieved that. So I want you to get into this feeling. You're going to be writing this down. Had you already received the $1 million in sales or $10 million in sales or whatever your desire is, how would you feel right now had you already received that? What would you be doing? Where would you be living? What would you buy right now if you had this $10 million or you had this $100 million or you just had the million dollars? What relationship would you be in? These things you can start adding to it. How would you feel right now if this was already accomplished? And start writing it down. Who would you be? How would you dress? How would you talk? How would you walk? Put as much detail as you want that's going to create this feeling state. And as you're writing it, you're going to be creating it. And now what's going to happen is you're going to change your concept of yourself during this. You're going to become so emotionally attached to what you're writing down as if it's already happened. And you're going to impress the subconscious mind. And then you're going to start walking different. You're going to be talking different. You're going to be networking different, communicating differently. You're going to be reacting differently to the negative and positive things in your world. And you're going to be shifting to this parallel reality to where your frequencies have raised. And you're going to be going to this new world where this is going to happen to you. You're going to, you're going to notice that you're just going to be communicating different. You're going to be reacting different. You're not going to allow things to bother you like they did before because why would they? Now you're a multimillionaire or now your desire is already fulfilled and you're no longer reacting to these bills that are coming in. You're rich, so you're not reacting in that way and now you're shifting to different worlds as you're not reacting to these negative things that come into your world because they don't bother you. There's nothing that can bother you now because now you've exceeded your expectations. You've already achieved all of these things that you have in store for yourself and this goal that you've written down, you've already achieved it. Now you impress it in the subconscious mind and that's the first thing you're going to notice. The first thing that I noticed was I started acting differently. I started communicating differently. I just started doing things automatically and it became effortless just to create a business or multiple businesses to be able to network and just create it with ease. And these things just started coming to me based on the way that I wrote this down and became emotional and really truly believed as I was writing this that it was true now that this was true. This is what had already occurred in my life. And when I did that, I impressed the subconscious mind and just allowed these doors to open. And I just enjoyed life, enjoyed the experience of life as I was doing this and as I was reaching these goals, just allowing them to happen and not worrying about anything else. And as we've covered before, how you react to things actually shifts you to different worlds. As you're reacting, if something bad happens to you and you observe it as something bad happening to you, you are creating that to occur in your world more often. But if something bad, a good happens to you or something bad happens to you and you react positively to that thing as if this is happening to me for my benefit, then you're going to transfer to worlds above that. And that, those things are going to stop happening to you and better things are going to start happening to you. And and that's what happens when you impress the subconscious mind this way. It changes, it automatically changes your reactions and how you're reacting to these things. And then you automatically start shifting to these, these worlds where you now have these things because you're no longer reacting this way. And this is a secret that will come with, the, with this application. It's going to change the way you react to things by feeling that your goals are already achieved. And now you are the person that you want to be. You have now positively impress the subconscious mind with a new version of yourself and you're no this new version of you doesn't react to negative things it doesn't get bothered by these little things it knows that whatever happens in your world is happening for a reason for your benefit for your success to, for you to achieve your dreams, these things are happening. And as you observe your world this way, you are going to transfer to that exact world where that's exactly what's going to happen. So when you have successfully impressed the subconscious mind with a new version of yourself, as if your goals are already achieved, it's going to change everything automatically. It's going to change your personality, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you react to things. And then it's going to shift you to that world. And this is how the sequence works. This is the secret of manifestation 
and I'm just breaking it down in detail more than most other people do. This is exactly how it works. Once you impress that, it changes your reactions and what you react to is actually shifting you to different worlds depending on how you observe what you're reacting to and the things that are happening to you, how you react to those. And when you impress the subconscious mind with a new version of yourself, it changes your reactions. And that's what shifts you to the parallel realities and takes you to that world where your desires are now achieved. And the reason why I know these things is because I've experienced them to happen in my world. Every single technique, every different exercise I talk about on this channel, I use myself and have experienced it to work. I'm not just talking about it. I'm actually applying these things. I'm actually applying the exercises. So that's why I can talk about them and know that they work and explain them in detail because I have the awareness, the present moment awareness to see how it's shifting my personality and what's changing with my personality that's causing everything to change. I'm actually observing everything in detail of how it is working and what is shifting me, you know, changing my concept of myself, how I'm reacting to things, that the way that I'm walking and talking, my confidence, everything changes based on me feeling that my goals are already achieved. And there is something that I want to cover about this where I had a stumbling block that you may want to know about before I was before I was able to start manifesting these things and really start becoming a, completely a submerged and absorbed in these feeling states as I'm writing. Before I was able to do that, I had to create um, a faculty in my mind, the muscle of my mind, so I could focus and really feel, really feel what I'm writing down or what I'm affirming or what I'm trying to create. And Neville Goddard's exercise that he wrote in the Power of Awareness, Chapter 6, Attention, where you replay the events in reverse order of your day before you go to sleep at night, that was the exercise that changed everything for me, even the leaf exercise, where it gained the attention, my attention to be able to focus on a feeling state and really absorb that and then impress that into the subconscious mind and retain that feeling state. This is what I had to go through. This is what really, really assisted me in capturing that feeling state to be able to manifest whatever I want. And I've created a free PDF workbook that demonstrates Neville Goddard's, I've broken down Neville Goddard's exercise on this and how to develop the muscle of the mind. And it's absolutely free. You can get that in the, it's the first link in the description below. It'll take you right to my website. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. You can download that free PDF workbook and start doing this. This will absolutely change. If you're having this issue where you're not able to focus, you're not able to direct your feeling states and really feel it, because if you catch yourself, you're, you're writing this stuff down, you can't really feel it. It's, be, it's more than likely is because you don't have, you haven't developed that, that part of the mind where you can focus on a feeling state for long periods of time to absorb that into the subconscious mind. So if you're having that issue, you can go right to the very first link in the description, click on that, go to my website, download the free PDF workbook and start applying Neville Goddard's instructions. I've also created access to the Law of Assumption community or the Neville Goddard community that's absolutely free. You can find that in the link in the description below. It's absolutely free to join the Neville Goddard community to have more discussions on this. If you have any other issues, you can instantly message me anytime you would like. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. If you have any questions or concerns, leave that in the column box below or any future content you would like me to cover. And I'm also going to put a sleep meditation, a very good sleep meditation on the screen for you now. I'm going to put a card on the screen for you now. So click on that. Put that in your playlist. Use that before you go to sleep. That will also assist you in creating the life of your dreams. All right, guys, I love you and I will see you in the next one. I go into these states.